Well, we managed to get a couple of sun breaks through the cloud cover this afternoon. Hi, everyone. Bob McGuire here in the Q2 Weather Center. And with that sun break, we're starting to see things warm up a little bit. Take a look at this. We're up to 30 degrees already in the Billings area. We do have a northwest wind at 12 miles per hour. But at the moment, elsewhere around the state, our temperatures are mostly into the teens and 20s. Got a few places like Sheridan and Kalispell, like Billings, all into the low 30s at this hour. So here's the way things are shaping up. Doppler radar shows some scattered snow showers in Great Falls, Glasgow, and now a couple of scattered flurries developing just east of Billings, heading into Bighorn County. I think those are the showers we're expecting to see, and they'll just kind of move in and move out of it. It's all part of a couple of weak weather systems trying to move through. They're not very strong. they got a little bit of snow with them, and as they track off towards the east, we think they'll start drying up because right behind that, we do see a new area of high pressure building in. That should make those systems just kind of fall apart. And so we're looking at sunny skies moving in again on Thursday. Throughout most of the day on Thursday, it'll be kind of cool, but then by Friday, look for warmer temperatures moving in from the west, and things start to warm up a little bit better. In the meantime, here's what you'll see next hour, 30 degrees, cooling down to 13 in the morning. Back up to 27 degrees about this time tomorrow afternoon. We'll actually top out at 29 on Thursday and then warm our way back up into the 40s as we head into the weekend and the early part of next week. We'll have a complete forecast coming your way at 530 tonight on the Q2 News or you can check us out online at KTVQ.com.